Well, well, if it isn't the spitting image of the good old days, Mac Senate style. Skull practice or skullduggery, they were expert at both. The hotel manager's got a kick coming. It was room and board with everything above board. For a quarter, you got plank steak. For a dollar, you bought the steer. Mail service meant special service, especially a special delivery. Good news or bad news, their faces always gave them away. Well, something should have. Ah, the wealthy widow. Things could get plenty rough over a powder puff. But the manager manages to manage his temper. Meanwhile, the porter's having trouble with his trunks. It's debonair Charlie Murray making his debut in the debris. But cut the gab, he wants a cab. Ah, there you are, my good man. This is more like it. Sure is, wasn't it? Yet it was ever thus, when they were working for laughs and Mac Sennett. Don't let him steer you wrong. He's just not right. Ready now for action. But Lizzie usually got them there, no matter what the hazards. Even going amphibious when the gag demanded. There's plenty of animation in every situation. In those days, the actors led an active life if they wanted to keep leading one. Oh well, all was well that ended well, except when it didn't. More often than not, the transportation went temperamental and the characters just plain cranky. Murray's in a hurry and gets in a flurry. To heck with mechanics when Lizzie throws her panics. It's only a stone's throw for Charlie, but it's a starter. But think nothing of it. Nobody else did, not when Max Sennett was pulling the shenanigans. Charlie's here on business, and no monkey business. The jerk of all work becomes the clerk. It looks like the widow left her powder when she took one. Anyway, Charlie's allergic to big blowhard. A flip of a prop, and now he's the bellhop. They'll take the lift. It's an elevator, all right, but uh, it doesn't start from here. Just to add to the comical capers, Senate often threw in camera gags such as this. Talk about pulling him out of a hat. 
Charlie's off again, which isn't anything unusual. This time on a hayride. The whole business looks haywire from here. Meantime, the manager's making time with the widow. But the old hay burner has had just about enough of the old hay ride. This calls for a change of plan, and Mr. Murray supplies it. All was fair in love and war, even in those days, especially when she had money. Next time, he'll take the train. But on with the dance. The barn dance, that is. It was always fun in fair weather when these old-time lunatics got together. Just a soft drink, of course. Oh, yeah? The stuff was as hard as a landlord's heart, and twice as hard to take. Hitting the punch was a gentleman's privilege, but uh, sometimes the punch punched back. Enough's enough, and he's had it. In a Senate scene, you never tried to figure out the continuity. There just wasn't any. Things happened for no reason at all, and so did the characters. <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie's won the widow and her bank account. He thinks. This thing looks serious. They're going to carry this feud into the ring. Sure carried it fast. Oh, there you are. Well, stay there. It's all finished in a flash. And so's Charlie, almost. The preliminaries are over. Now for the main event. In any event, it should be eventful. It's a great fight, great night, great crowd. <laughs> Murray's in splendid condition. Look at him, rugged, ready. Quick, the smelling salts. The battle continues, all for a woman. But who's this? You're right, it is. Stark drama in the making. Her terrible secret is out. Her husband? Naturally. It always was, whenever Max Sennett decided, here we go again. 